Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the Live Garden. In this video, I will be putting up my um, some of my chili plants um, in container. So this will be the final pots that the chili plants will um, stay for the remain remaining of the season. Um, this is not all of the, my chili plants. If you've been watching my previous videos, you know that I plan to grow almost all. When I say almost all, about 90% of my chilies, uh, whether it's super hot or just the regular chili variety in raised bed. Um, I don't know how they will um, react uh, being um, grown in raised bed because I haven't grown chili plants in the, in raised bed before. I've seen a lot of videos um, uh, online videos in YouTube uh, people growing in, in chilies in raised bed um, but they're all in um, America so with UK weather growing um, chili plants in raised bed I don't know whether I have long enough season to get a harvest because you know how chili plants react um, they produce much more harvest when their roots are restricted so that's why I I've been thinking over the last few weeks um, and thinking about maybe putting some uh, some of my chili plants in container just to guarantee that I get um, some harvest of chilies this year. Um, so I'm growing uh, about 12 different um, super hot chili varieties this year and I'm going to choose one from each variety to put in the pots and reminder of the plants I'll be putting in the raised bed. There will be upcoming videos giving you the updates on that. But today in this video I'll be um, uh, Putting one one of the chili plants, um, super hot chili plants from each variety into the pot. The potting soil that I'm using um, are from last year. Um, I am not gonna use fresh potting soil because I do think the um, soil that I prepared last year are uh, still good. And in fact, I do think that once you prepare um, uh, potting soil, um, they are they have sufficient nutrient um, to grow plants uh, over three years. Um, of course, every year you have to supplement with additional fertilizers. So that's the plan when I'll be putting up um, uh, these chili plants to their final pot. I will be adding fish, blood uh, and bone meal and also um, supplementing uh, with the top dressing of uh, chicken pellet manure. So that's the that's the idea. That's the that's what the video is going to cover um, today. Um, so stay with me to see how I put up my chili plants and uh, hopefully you will get something out of this video. So in case you are wondering um, where am I, I'm actually in my shed uh, because outside is quite windy um, even though in my greenhouse um, it's showing about uh, it, the temperature is about um, 12 and a half degrees Celsius. So I decided to come in my shed um, that's because um, because of the wind um, the, the, it feels much more cooler with the wind so I'm just going to do all my potting up um, inside my shed. So let's bring a pot of soils from last year. So you can see here, this is one of the pot that I used last year to grow um, one of my chili plants. And you can see the, the stem of, I don't, of the last year's um, plants still remaining. Um, this is because when I um, chop off the stem at the end of the season, I do not take the root out of the soil um, because I do not uh, I don't think it's a good um, idea to to disturb the soil structure of course now because I want to plant another I want to I want to transplant another uh, chili plants I'll I, I will have to take the the stem out because this stem being left um, over the winter months in that soils, uh, soil, almost 80% um, of the roots will be um, decomposed and it will be, hopefully it will be much easier to take, just take out the, the actual stem and the roots that hasn't decomposed. Usually it's, uh, it's much easier um, after, the, um, um, after a few months to take out the roots um, and the stems together. If the roots along with the stem doesn't come out easily, you can always um, you can always take a um, scissor to just um, cut along the the roots, and it should just come out. 
easily. I think um, roots of the plants are good uh, absorber of the of the water, um, and 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 I think if you have some old roots in the soil, um, it adds to the to the it benefits um, when you're watering because it holds on to the water much better. So that's why. And also over time, when those um, roots decomposes, um, it adds um, nutrients um, back to the soil. So that's the idea uh, behind keeping the root structure. Uh, okay, there you go. You can see it's coming out. Um, so this part hasn't decomposed um, over the last few months so i'll be throwing this part away but of course there are a lot of um, roots remaining in the soil i'm just going to add some fish blood and bone so this is this is a uh, fish blood and bone um, i'm just going to use about that much to the potting hole maybe a little bit more and mix that in like so so there's um, not really um, the process of transplanting is quite straightforward um, you want to minimize the disturbance of the of your plant uh, root as little as possible so what i usually do when i'm putting up um, is just like with the with the with the pot still on the plant i will backfill around the root zone and basically try to a little bit comp uh, compact the soil by pushing on the soil and if i feel like i have i need to top up a little bit more um i can do that so i i actually do think that it needs a little bit more topping up um with the with the compost uh, because i mean i could actually uh make the the transplanting um a whole little bit deeper but uh i'm not going to do that because i just uh, i think it will be best to just top dress with some fresh compost as well so i try to keep my potting soil as simple as poss possible um so here I have some multi-purpose compost. What I'm going to do is just add some pyrolite to it. I have some pyrolites in here. I'm just going to add about 25% roughly um, in there. And I'm going to add some fish blood and bone to that mix as well. Again, not much, just one handful and I'm gonna mix all of these so one advice um, for the palite um, I know the all of the things that we buy in uh, for gardening has um, the price of those have um, skyrocketed and the uh, gardening which is which was already not an um, cheap hobby to have uh, has already <laughs> has, has become even more expensive so um, if you are watching this video um, one advice if you're buying parlite is that um, look shop around look online um, because if you just go to the high street shops like BNQ, um, BNM, and all those um, high street regular high street shops or any other garden center, you would see like 10, 10 liter bag of pyrolite um, is being sold like 10.99, 9.99, which I think is way more expensive. I buy my pyrolite um, in a hundred liter bag from eBay. Um, and it, the entire 100 liter bag cost me about uh, 26 pound so you can see the difference you're buying 10 liter for 10 pound and if you're buying 100 liter, 100 liter of that those that parlite um in in 10 10 individual bag you're gonna have to spend 100 pound so um if you get it from ebay 
or Amazon, you can get it for much, much cheaper. Um, and um, the another benefit is that you don't have to um, also carry that bag, huge bag uh, from the shop. You just be delivered to your um, door. So yeah, look, look um, online, guys, and always shop around to uh, buy the good quality stuff. But um, but um, why pay more if you can buy it for cheaper? So that's my um, that's my advice to you when you're buying palite. And same goes for the compost and the other um, other um, gardening um, uh, stuff as well. So that's my potting soil is is done um so what i'm gonna do is before i top it up of course what i need to do is i need to remove the remove the plastic pot small pot from the so i try to basically not disturb the root so you can see the root of the plant um is quite good um so I'm just going to, I can see that it is circling. So just going to tease the root slightly a bit. I'm not going to go crazy. Just going to try to um, basically disturb ever so slightly so that they find their way into the new soil. Well, the soil in the, in the main pot much easier. So that's basically it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm um, going to basically just pop it into the hole and that's my transplant done. Wow, there's a there's actually a small chili. I don't know if you can see just here. Um, it's already been forming. So this variety here is the Trinidad Scorpion chocolate variety. It's just to finish off the um, transplant and putting on. I'm gonna top dress with with chicken pellet manure. The reason I want to top dress with chicken pellet manure is just to give some um, give the plant uh, a good supply of nitrogen uh, because obviously last year's plant have taken up quite a lot of um, nitrogen from those um, soils. So I'm just gonna top dress with the with the chicken pellet manure and that should be plenty. And also the fish um, blood and bone that we've added. Um, initially um, has a good balance of nitrogen as well so this chicken pellet manure just going to add some more nitrogen so that it will boost the growth of the plant a little bit more um, until it starts to fully flower and start producing the pods chicken manure pellet is is being add, has been added uh, what i'm going to do now is just going to cover the ch um, chicken manure pellet with the potting mix that i've just made There you go. Just just enough to cover the um, chicken manure pellet, and that's it. That's done. So that's my one of my plant is potted up. Just gonna remove the label from my initial pot, and just gonna put that in in here so that I know which plant it is. I'm gonna later on when I finish uh, potting up all of the plants, I'm gonna put proper labels and so labeling is important guys um do not ever think that you can label later on uh, you'll remember without any sort of um, indicators which is which because i've made that mistake and i'm sure you all have done the same so yeah label as you go so i'm going to continue to pot up rest of my chili plants So here you go, the putting up of all of my plants, um, super hot chili plants are now done. Um, what I'm going to do now is put some support stake in. So it's always a good idea to put um, a support stick in um, right after you've just transplanted into the main destination. So 
here you can see I'm just doing that the reason being you want to do it now is that at the moment I know where the root zone of the plant um, is so I'm not really disturbing the root zone of the plant um, as soon as the plant starts to grow it will start to sh um, shoot out the roots um, all over the all over the pot so at that point if you um, put a stake in uh, you will actually damage the roots so it's better to do it right after the transplant so that is um, you have the support stick um, already in there without disturbing the um, root zone once your plants are potted up and into their final destination the last thing i want to do before i start putting mulch is to water the plants um, my potting soil are already damp i keep mulch on top of all of my pots so they the soil um, re retains the moisture much better um, if you are if you are using old um, pots with um, old previous years pot, uh, potting mix uh, make sure that they are not fully dried um, because um, it's not a really good idea to um, use completely dry potting mix um, if you do want to use the old um, dry potting mix make sure you dump it first with uh, with some water the watering is now done um, the last thing to finish off the the uh, super hot chili plant transplanting is to put a mulch in so here's one thing i don't know if you've noticed um, me doing is that i've watered the plants before i put the mulch in um, this is because it's it's easier for the water to penetrate um, if there is uh, no uh, mulch already on on the surface um, so it's just um, it just helps um, with the watering um, uh, it's just better if you water first um, and then put the mulch in of course once i put the mulch uh, on top um, the uh, the for the rest of the season i'll be watering on top I'll, i will not be removing the mulch every time i'll water it's just for the initial watering after the um, transplant so there you go i put the a probably one inch uh, one and a half inch layer of um, wood chip on top and again these are uh, wood chip that um, were already on top and these i removed uh, from the surface before i i um, prepared the pot and the soil for transplanting so i'm just gonna I'm just basically reusing the last year's um, wood chip what you want to do is just basically cover the surface all around the base of your plant so that uh, when they're outside um, on full sun um, the water from the soil doesn't evaporate um, so fast one other benefit of using mulch on the surface of the is that you will also suppress any weed um, growing in the pot which is a added benefit and that's actually one of the main reason um, people use mulch in raised beds or garden beds in the direct um, soil and ground but in pots obviously the surface area is much smaller for any weeds to grow but then they do occasionally pop up um, but if you have mulch in there um, the weed actually um, can't grow anymore well it doesn't grow so you have to do less weeding um, by hand I know it's not a huge deal in um, container gardening but there you go so there you go that's all of the potting up of my super hot chili plants is done for this year I've got few of this um, container that uh, needs to be that I need to put on mulch uh, because I I need to top up I need to get more uh, wood chips 
um, and I will do this later on. But um, essentially, that's the uh, process that I follow uh, every year when I'm um, growing chilies in container. I hope you've learned something from this video. And uh, uh, if you did, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Um, I will put out um, many more updated videos as to how are my plants doing out in the garden. As I mentioned in the video before that I will be um, growing, uh, well, trying to grow chilies, um, with regular chilies or support chilies out in, in, in the raised garden bed in addition to the uh, plants that I've just potted on now. So if you want to see the those videos, please uh, like, comment and subscribe and uh, I see you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.